actually just marking out some little stress cuts so um, depending on what we're pouring and what we're doing the engineer specifies whether we need cuts and slabs or not uh, this one here uh, requires it so the engineers want us to keep everything under a six meter spacing in regards to um, concrete squares so essentially what happens is <clears throat> we put these cuts in it and the idea of these cuts is to make sure that the slabs got movement because concrete's going to move and crack it's that's one thing guaranteed with that but um the idea being is that once we put these stress cuts, uh, cuts in they'll get cut 25 mil deep so uh, that'll reduce the thickness of the concrete now it's all well and good to put them in but there is a little bit of a st strategy that goes with it um depending on what the engineer wants but i'll just show you what's actually underneath the concrete because these don't really work if you don't have this kind of setup so what will happen this is probably not the best example but i'm going to show you how this is going to work hopefully so if you imagine that's your mesh this would be joined um, so what actually happens underneath that crack or underneath this um, stress cut is we've got every second bar um, the engineers asked us to cut every second bar so what we've done is cut we basically cut like a hundred mil gap out of the the mesh um, and then this one's obviously would be a full join one and then we'd cut another 100 mil gap out and then the next one would be full join so what this does actually weakens the concrete um, which is the idea of it and then when we put this joint over the top <coughs> it really starts to put a, a crack joint or a, a point for it to crack so what we're hoping it doesn't always happen but what we're hoping is that if this slab ever moves which it will at some point that it's already created a weak point here so the design is so that it should crack through this joint and you don't see it on top but um yeah, it's just to help with movement. Um, it is guaranteed with concrete that it will crack it over, you know, over time, over soil movement, things moving up and down a little bit. It's inevitable, but um, we can do our best to just try and make sure that um, that we can uh, work with uh, what we've got and also just minimise the um, try and minimise the amount of movement and cracking in the concrete slab. So, hope that makes sense.